Tony Gerdeman with us uh, to talk Ohio State football. You can join him at the ozone.net for the very best in Ohio State football coverage and some tremendous insight into the Buckeyes as they plan for 2018. Uh, Tony, in watching the NFL playoffs over the past few weekends, it uh, certainly in watching the Saints yesterday, you talk about a team that's loaded up on Buckeyes and benefited from it. In particular, uh, it got me to thinking, okay, I, Obviously, by any measurement, Ohio State football in just about any given year is going to do extremely well in uh, stacking up against other schools across the nation in terms of NFL talent, both quantity and quality. Uh, so I started to run some numbers. I'm going to do a series here that's going to be pretty exhaustive. And, and I'm looking at uh, that Saints game, and I see Ted Ginn and Michael Thomas, who has just burst onto the NFL. Mm -hmm. saw an interesting stat, Tony. 195-plus catches for Michael Thomas his first two years, 2,300 yards. That is the best performance for any two-year wide receiver in the history of the league. Uh, Ted Ginn just seems to get better as he gets yeah. older and, and maintains the speed. He's still a deep threat at 32. Um and uh, Marshawn Lattimore taking over as one of the best cover corners instantly in the NFL. And Von Bell, uh, an impact player for the Saints. And that's just the Saints. Uh, just your thoughts on watching the NFL playoffs. And, and in particular, that 2015 bunch with Zeke Elliott and Joey Bosa instantly becoming rookies of the year offense and defense mm -hmm. uh, the very first year in the NFL and just uh, the Urban Meyer pipeline into the NFL and how successful it's been. It's It's been pretty amazing. And you think they'll have uh, what back-to-back -back defensive rookies of the year with Joey Bosa and Marshawn Lattimore. And you know some of these are Ohio guys like Lattimore. And, but for the most part, for a lot of it, it's, it's Urban Meyer going around the nation to get the best players in the nation. Like Von Bell was a five-star guy out of the Tennessee, Georgia area. Joey Bosa, who was from Florida, even though he had an Ohio State connection and that his um, like uncle was, was a former Buckeye. You know, Michael Thomas was a California guy who actually committed to Jim Trestle and Luke Fickle and then went to, um, I believe, Fork Union to uh, play with Cardale Jones for a year before they all came to Ohio State. So it's the the number of players impact players in the NFL has gone up with the with Urban Meyer coming to Ohio State that was one of the criticisms at the end of Jim Trestle's tenure was that the number of NFL players was diminishing but this is something that you know, Urban Meyer has preached it's what he sells at Ohio State and um, you know that's why he can't get too upset if uh, Denzel Ward decides he doesn't want to play in a bowl game because this is, you know, the NFL is part of the promise. It's, if that's what you're going to sell, you can't be too upset when players buy it. And the way they're cranking out players to the NFL, it, it's just going to keep, um, you know, it's, it just rejuvenates itself. And really there's, like, because right now you've got two cornerbacks who were redshirt sophomores this year. The plan is for them to come back and then leave next year as redshirt juniors with you know el eligibility still remaining. You look at the um, you know with Mike Weber, he could have come out this year. He would have had he been the starter all year. Um, and it's just not that they're trying to push players in and out, but the more you get in and you get them to the NFL, it just sells the program even more. It lets uh, recruits see that. It may only take me three years with, with a guy like Marshawn Lattimore, who redshirted as a, a true freshman because he was injured. His redshirt freshman season, he was injured. He had one healthy season at Ohio State, but it was enough. And look at him now. So it also lets players know that you may sit for a little bit, but that one opportunity you get is all that you need because you're going to be seen. And if you start at any position at Ohio State, that should guarantee you um, – an NFL opportunity. So it's very highly competitive as well because of what it means in the future. Marshawn Lattimore, similar to the Malik Hooks, Hooker story from that standpoint in regards to getting the one chance after uh, sitting out and, af uh, and actually contemplating leaving Ohio State. Uh, Tony Gerdeman's all over the Buckeyes, uh, covers them each and every day throughout the offseason, right there at practice, in the news conferences, and talking to the players. So join him on the Ozone and uh, I'm going to spare us a little bit of grief, Tony, when you mentioned that the John Cooper 
uh, NFL pipeline was dwindling at the end of his tenure. It certainly was. But Tony and I were talking prior yeah. uh, to, to recording about setting up that 2002 national championship game uh, team and uh, uh, us both being very aware of the talent on both sides of the ball. Michael Jenkins, Chris Gamble, uh, even Craig Krenzel at quarterback uh, lasted five or six years in the NFL with the Bears and the Giants. The offensive line was set. Uh, the defensive line, Kenny Peterson, Tim Anderson, we could go on Will and Smith. on. C. Grant at linebacker, Donnie Nicky in the secondary played with the Chargers, and mm -hmm. on and on. Of course, Dustin Fox, uh, like a third rounder with Minnesota. And yes, guys we're not naming that we're well aware of, uh, uh, so forth and so on. Matt Wilhelm played in the league, yep. on and on and on and on. So uh, yeah, Tony and I, well aware of that uh, John Cooper pipeline to the NFL as well. Tony, we appreciate the breakdown, uh, and thanks for stopping by. Anytime. Thank you.